On this video, I'm going to be installing a cigarette lighter adapter. Uh, this is a new one that I just picked off of Amazon. So I've been using this Amazon brand uh, Otium Dual. It has a quick charge 3.0 as well, but it only has two plugs. And with the addition of my new diesel heater, I found myself uh, needing a third. So I've got, I saw this one, it's highly rated on Amazon. So I went ahead and purchased it. Um, it has a flash display warning, four USB ports, a smart charger, and also quick charge. And again, the main reason why I got this was that it has three sockets. Now with the addition of the diesel heater, that's, that is definitely going to do a, a, give a big draw at certain times. And uh, what I like about this is that they also include some fuses. So I keep this in my spare accessory. Uh, area and uh, they include two fuses in case something burns out you are able to get that replaced there is plenty of double-sided adhesive and this is basically how it looks uh, i'm going to go ahead and plug it in this is my jackery 500 all right so it reads 13.4 volts And this is also a on and off button for the socket. So if you want to just quickly turn everything off, go ahead and do that. These show that it's going to be on. You can individually turn them off here as well. So plenty of plenty of places to, to shut these off. Uh, this is going to be the 3.1. So this is the, this is also the oh, 3.1 amp. Two, these are the 2.4s, 2.4, and then the quick charge 3.0. So this is the one that's going to charge your uh, cell phone a lot quicker and any other accessories. Very sleek, comes with double-sided tape. And where I'm going to be installing this is going to be up here. So I chose this spot. Uh, this is going to be my in the back of the fridge. I chose this spot so that I can um, add some connections here. I can also reach the ports. Oh, I'm going to actually lower it. So I want to be able to reach the ports on the top and also on the side. I originally wanted to, it placed right here, but then my back seat does roll up and I only have, I don't have enough clearance in this section. So that's a spot that I'm going to end up choosing. And I'm just going to, to do a quick plug in to see if I'm able to get there so there you go all right so let's go ahead and clean the surface and get to the install I have some alcohol wipes They actually gave two more of these double-sided tape, so I'm just going to install that third one right here. Okay, so I'm going to place it right here. Still able to access, press all the buttons. There you have it guys, I've got the triple installed. I've gotten enough power from my diesel heater, my fridge, and also my rooftop tent power. Um, the last thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just clean things up. Uh, I've got this new cool label printer that I got from Amazon. Um, it comes with a really nice app. I went ahead and labeled all the power plugs here. Um, these are not set, but for for the most part, I can understand this very well. And hopefully my fiance can also understand this so that she can also access the power. And I'm not the only one that knows what's going on. Um, for example, this is going to be the plug for the fridge. I'm going to use the fridge sticker. 
very cool label maker. What I'm going to do is grab another backing of a blank label. I'm just going to kind of tidy it up like that. I'm going to put it right there. Sorry, I'm going to make it cleaner. I know I can do a better job. All right, so there you go. Labels made. This is a uh, waterproof, so that's really nice. It should stay on there. I can easily recognize everything now. I just plug it in. I'm gonna go ahead and wire the rest of the vehicle, or the rest of the power electrical up, and uh, hope you guys found this useful. I'll drop a link below. Check this out. I also have a link below. If you guys have any questions? Hit me up. I'll catch you guys on that next one.